Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another City Skylines 2 Feature Highlights video where today we're going to be reacting and finding out all the information from the zones and signature buildings. Now, last week we reacted to and found out all the information about the public and cargo transport lines and networks, which is really, really exciting. Where today we're moving on to zones and signature buildings. Now, you might be thinking, zones? And signature buildings, what are the, well, the signature buildings got to be like unique buildings, but how much can there be different when it comes to zoning? You just drag on the tiles, right? Unless they're doing some crazy stuff that we've never heard of before. I don't know. But guys, if you do enjoy these little uh, highlight videos, uh, please let me know by smashing the like button down below. We're doing them every week until the release of City Skyline 2, so make sure you subscribe so you get notified when more of these do come out. Uh, if you notice anything that I don't, please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you agree or disagree, please let me know. We've got to find out more about this game. So this is the zones and signature buildings. I'm doing a lot of pausing, stopping and starting, so bear with me. Um, I'm excited. But I, I feel like this one might be underwhelming. Unless there's some big things that are different to how you do the zoning and maybe unique slash signature buildings in City Skylines 1. But this is City Skylines 2. We are going to be surprised. Right, let's go. Is the volume up so I can hear it? Every decision you make weaves a thread into the fabric of... Also, what is this quality, boys? Four Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want that 4K quality, boys. Hold on. I want that 4K. I want, it, I want City Skylines 2 to be crispy in my eyeballs. Right, there we go. Of your city. But don't for a second imagine a smooth, seamless surface. Cities don't work like that. Instead, it's an urban patchwork marked by the realities of life and living. Okay. You'll create and stitch it together with zoning. Zoning lets you decide where people live and work. Oh, that's cool. So I like these overlays. So obviously zoning decides when people um, live, play, and work, whatever she just said right there. But there were some different colors going on there. I don't know what this like purple thing is, but. You create these residential, commercial, and industrial zones with zoning tools. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shut the front door. Uh, so we've seen this in the past before where the demand bar right now, there's a lot more going on. But we assumed it was low, medium, and high density residential, offices, industry, and no idea what the purple was. But no, sorry, not offices, industry, sorry, commercial, industry, and then the purple was the offices. That's what we kind of found out. But I, is this the first one we've seen in the fact that if you click on residential zoning, you've now got one, six different variations of residential zoning? So you've got residential buildings, which is in the green. Residential signature buildings, which again, no idea what the signature buildings are. We're going to find out. Maybe they're nothing to nothing, because I'm, I'm thinking unique buildings. What we have in City Skylines now, but maybe signature buildings are completely different. Uh, the residential zones are for various types of housing, uh, residential uh, stability, ground pollution. Okay. They work in a couple of different. Right, we're going to have to go back over this right now. But there's two different types of commercial. Obviously, low density, high density. Wait. Click. In Right, okay. Let me just go back to listen to what she was just saying there. With zoning tools. They work in a couple of different ways. Click and drag. Did you notice as they were about to click on industry? It went to this scene. They're hiding something in industry. They don't want you, you, you know, us to know. Zones with zoning right, here we go. Tools. They work in a couple of different ways. Click and drag over cells on the map to zone large rectangular areas. Yeah, we, I mean, we can do that right now. Unless there's something different in this zoning that we don't know about, then... You know, I mean, I'm assuming this video is also kind of also catered to people who haven't played the first one and casual players. Zone all adjacent cells with one click. Yeah. Or get granular. Zoning a neighborhood yeah. cell by cell. When you establish a city. Oh my God. Right. We need to break this down. So they've shown us the, the zoning. Okay. Great stuff. Uh, it's it's nothing different than what we've seen before, but a new game and these are the maps Straight away. I'm seeing San Francisco um, So okay, blah, blah, blah. so it tells us about the climate the latitude <gasps> Northern hemisphere Is that a thing now in the game like if you're on the northern or southern hemisphere or if you need the equator or stuff like that Buildable area outside connections uh, road, train, boat, plane, lightning. <laughs> no, that's power. 
So I'm assuming, yeah, you can maybe get power or sell power or buy and sell power to other cities because that was a thing. Natural resources, it shows you the tonnage. Wow. Okay, right. So, I mean, are these... Uh, this is going to be crazy because, like, the fact that I put San Francisco in is going to... Yo! Okay, okay, right. Let me break this down for you guys. I've been to San Francisco, okay? And this area is huge. I mean, I'm not saying the game is one for one scale, but I'm just saying, huge. Um, let me go back right now because we're missing so much. Zoning a neighborhood cell by cell. When you establish a city, you choose a map. The map's theme dictates if your city's buildings will have a North American. So yeah, North American. I mean, this is this is no different to what the first game pretty American much does right now. European architectural style. But I like how you can you can select if you've got natural disasters, unlock all, unlimited money, tutorials on and off. That's a pretty cool feature. That is a lot more polished. You can now use zoning tools to mix it up. Go on, sprinkle a little North American flair into your European city. Or okay, that's pretty cool. How you can then like go between the two designs in the same city. Okay, you know how zoning tools work. But what can you zone? Well, let's start with residential zones. Okay. The places and spaces where citizens relax with So, I, is this what we're going to find out that there's maybe something different that we can do? Friends, raise families, and rest their heads night after night. There are now six residential zone types. Two... Oh, snap. Okay, let me go Let me go back right there. Because I need to, I need to unravel this. There are so, you've got North American style houses, which is the two... So you've got normal one. North American style row houses. Are now six North American style small apartment buildings. Zone types. North American style apartment with commercial space at the bottom of the. No freaking way! You can. I mean, you have these in the UK as well. You have like stores, and then there's like a like a residential apartment above the store. That you can have mixed zoning. Two. So large apartment buildings with small affordable apartments provides lower uh, lower uh, rents, provides lower tax income as a result. Familiar. Northern style, uh, larger apartment buildings. Now, obviously, that's all down to the fact that they've selected the theme of, of North America. And obviously, you click on European, there'll be other Low options. Low density housing, detached houses for single families. Oh, look at the flag. Is that the Finnish housing. flag? Tall towers packed with residents. That's crazy. Do you see the size of those buildings there for residential? Families and high density. Look at that right there. Huge. Housing. Tall towers packed Huge. with residents. New zoning types include medium density... Do you know what? It looks it looks really weird seeing it like this. Like the models walking. Because like you know you can never really zoom in that close to see people on normal city skylines. Low housing and medium density apartment buildings. There's low rent housing now too. Huge apartment buildings with tiny apartments. Damn. Finally, there's mixed housing. Here, residents live in apartments above ground floor shops. That's crazy. Mixed housing adds next level realism because homes and shops rub elbows like most real world city centers. That's crazy. Ready to talk business? Yes. You'll create dedicated commercial zones where companies sell the locally produced and imported goods. So you create commercial zones where companies sell the locally um, created or importing goods, basically. Um, that's a huge, I mean, again, there's another huge emphasis on the outside connections with trading. Because we, we, we learned about that last uh, last episode, last reaction video, uh, about the outside trading capabilities of other cities. So that's interesting. People need and want. Your commercial zones are also where citizens and tourists eat out, catch the latest blockbuster, and dance until dawn. Yeah, boy. You'll establish... Okay, what is this? This is industrial. So, straight away, this is a mining industry, isn't it? Industrial zones with factories, workshops, and warehouses where businesses can store goods ready for distribution or export. You'll also develop office... Right, I feel like we need to go back up for a minute. So, this is interesting. So... Okay, let me break this down. Tool mode, right? Okay. So, I'm assuming... Because when you build, like, an industrial area now, like the DLCs, um, kind of uh, stuff... You place that in the main building, and then you kind of use the region tool to kind of then paint a zone of where you want this industrial area to be. I'm assuming this is what this is. I'm assuming that's normal industry, and then they've kind of painted down this is where they want a mining industry to be. That's what I'm assuming right there, okay? That's what I'm assuming. 
you'll establish industrial zones with factories, workshops, and warehouses where businesses can store goods ready for distribution or export. You'll also develop office zones. Ooh. Here you'll find small, low-density buildings with only a few businesses in operation. Yep. You'll also get the glittering high-density towers that define that your cool. city's silhouette in the sky. Growing your city and zoning go hand in hand. Here's an example. You zone residential areas that boost the population. Yep. And with it, the demand for jobs. You respond. Right, hold on. Hold on. What are we witnessing right now? What are we witnessing? Let me go back. To areas that boost the population. And with it, the demand for jobs. You respond by creating an industrial zone with factories where people get to work. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Was that whole zoning right there? The fields to this farm? No way. In Wait, hold on. And for jobs, you respond. So they're, they're snapping the wall to the road as you can see on by creating it snaps right and then industrial zone with that's a field is this the new way to do industrial like the dlc's stuff that's a do you know what it reminds me of what's i've seen it on the news that place in australia where the, the 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 one person refused to sell so they built all the whole house and the state around their house uh it kind of reminds me of that um wait what's going on here all almost meet 155 valley lane now this is this is an industry isn't it and it produces vegetables and it, the company's called almost meat that's hilarious Wait, what's going on here? With factories where people get to work. Now, these factories produce goods, but they won't stay in business long. This looks amazing. Sell them. You solve that problem by expanding commercial zones. You see, each zone helps create the momentum. I mean, this is nothing that we don't know already. Obviously, you create industry, it produces goods. You got to sell it in commercial buildings. We get that. But you can't just brush over the, the plate, the... the how you just built that farm you need to realize the city of your dreams and it wouldn't be the city of your dreams without signature buildings okay so apparently the zoning talk is now done i'm assuming right we're gonna have an industry's feature highlights at some point to go in greater detail but you can't just tease us with that right now you can't just tease your boy with that little bit of knowledge and then just leave it there these are unique residential, commercial, industrial, and office buildings that you unlock as your city expands. Ooh. They're free to build, and you can plop them. So you unlock them as your city, exp city expands, and they're also free to build. Right. Anywhere. Blop. Blop. It's city skylines lingo. And you can plop them anywhere. Blop. Blop. It's city skylines lingo. Go on, say it. Plop. Blop. Plop. Wait, is that the sound effect for plop putting stuff down? I don't, I don't think I like What's it. What's so special about signature building? Anyway, let me, let me look back at this again, sorry. So, signature building. Plop. What's so special about signature buildings? Yeah. Well, they function like any zoned building. A home for people, a warehouse for industry, an office for workers. But they can elevate the neighborhood in unique ways. Signature buildings can also bring citywide benefits. Zone and place your... I mean, they are pretty cool. I get Signature that. Signature buildings carefully, so each city district flourishes and plays its part in the success of the whole city. Life's rich tapestry. Oh, has it looks never so good. This game. Than in city skylines too. Right, this game does look really, really good, and it's going to end there. Um, okay, so I don't know how I feel about this feature video. I mean, they've they've, they've dropped a couple of gems right there, but I don't know who these feature videos are targeted to. Are they targeted to players, to the casual player? Are they targeted to players that have never played City Skylines 1? Because if that's the case, then I understand the video. I understand it. But if they're just trying to treat this as, as you know, this is if, to everybody. A lot of these features we have in City Skylines 1. And, you know, I kind of understand. We, we, all, we already know how to play the game. Uh, I understand the zoning. I get all that. So I don't know if they're just trying to cater to a wider audience which again i understand you know i'm not complaining too much but 
uh, you know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna complain anyway. But it's like they're they're te- showing us stuff that already I- exists just to pad out the video to make it feel like there's more, but there's not more. I'm not saying that this is the worst feature highlights video I've seen so far, but this is probably the one that I already know the most about. But they did drop some gems. So, we're going to brush over the fact that some of the stuff we already know, because I understand that they're trying to tell the story, they're trying to sell the fact that this is what you do. They can't just go, oh, this is the new thing, and people are like, well, what could you do before? How is this the new thing? I get that, and yeah, okay, I'll start complaining. But the fact that you can now have the different levels of zoning, amazing. Loving the fact that you can now build residential buildings with um, stores below them, perfect. And they just teased us. Oh, wait. Hold on. They teased us with the farming, but then think back to the mining. That was also a, a, a kind of painted zone, wasn't it? Can I find that? Where is that? It's here. So, that's a painted zone. Because you can see the fence around the edge. So, if you paint a zone like this, do you get to play stuff inside, or does it auto-generate? Because when they zoned this one, where is it? Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? When they painted this, because um, they're adjusting the snapping, they're not placing anything inside, unless that's what you do next. But then when you when it skips to the next section, there's the road, and they've got these random buildings. Do they just automatically put themselves in? That's kind of crazy. I do like that. But these signature buildings, I don't quite understand the benefit to them. So you unlock them as you play, understandable. But then they're free to use and you can just throw them in. Like, is there no, nothing else to kind of take from this? Uh, so switch on from the humble toaster to the self-organizing stock drawer. This factory makes everything that runs on electricity. So plus t- oh okay now we understand. So these signature buildings they give you some benefits and boosts. So this building alone, so th- because this is all industry based, this one, all the benefits will be kind of like surrounding industry. So by placing this um, signature building down, you get a two percent boost in all industrial efficiency, and it's city wide. Then you get a plus one college graduation chance, and that's that's whoa hold on. So people have got to graduate. It doesn't mean they become smarty pants. They have to first graduate to get the degree. This is stuff here that people are going to skip over. Oh my goodness me. This is amazing. So, yeah, this thing you're building makes sense right now. You get city-wide benefits and other boosts. But to be able to get those boosts, you got to get it to the level to be able to unlock it. Now the signature buildings make sense. And that is really, really exciting. Because you, you would strategically place down what you need. It's like, oh, I need like more residential demand or I need my industrial buildings to produce more goods. Well, you know, let's work towards getting one of these signature buildings, placing this down, and we'll, we'll reap the rewards that it gives us. Interesting. So, signature buildings, big, big bonus. I like that. Uh, the industry zoning, interesting. We'll see what happens with that. Um... But damn, they they leave you wanting more, and at the same time, at the same time, I'm not quite sure who this video is targeted to. But I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I'm going to treat it as if some people have never played City Skylines One, and they've got to try and sell the game to new players, which they will do a fantastic job in doing it because it's aimed perfectly towards those type of people. So I'm going to leave it as that. But holy moly if i missed anything guys let me know in the comment section down below let me know what your thoughts are on my thoughts and um yeah just take my money i will buy the game 100 times right now if i can play it right now but um let me know if you guys until next time i'll see you all soon so good bye